Let's step into the weird world of quantum mechanics, parallel universes, and advanced particle physics, in which the researchers at CERN, at the cutting edge of research, working with some of the most powerful and energetic machinery on the planet, could be messing with reality itself. So, has there been a break in our reality? And are they responsible? It may have gone unnoticed to some, but things don't seem to be the same as people remember they were. Certain names of products and locations of events are remembered differently than they are today by more and more people over the past decade. From the Bernstein Bears, Febreze, and the island location of the Statue of Liberty, Mandela effects like these have been brought up across the internet as examples of so-called glitches in reality that many people seem to remember differently. This has led to some theories about what could have caused this, and some of those theories include the usage of alternative universes to explain what is happening. Quantum physics is revealing more and more about our universe, including the very real and probable possibility that parallel universes exist that may be only slightly different from our own. The multiverse theory contends that for every possible outcome of every situation, a universe exists in which it happens. Could our universe have merged with another reality, causing the slight alterations that many of us remember differently? But if the universe has gone through a merger, what could have caused it, and how can we know? Well, for that first question, many theorists point their fingers at the same target, CERN. Almost three decades ago, the European Council for Nuclear Research began construction on what would become the largest machine ever built on Earth. The Large Hadron Collider has an expansive area with a circumference of nearly 27 kilometers and crosses an international border four times. Designed to accelerate particles to near the speed of light, 99.9999991% the speed of light to be exact, before smashing them into each other in a magnificent collision that releases a massive array of particles that can then be studied. The LHC has led to the discovery of many new particles that have helped particle physics fill out many of the missing pieces in the standard model. But this comes at a cost. The LHC requires a huge amount of energy to power, and the possible weird side effects come from dumping enough energy into a particle to get it to a velocity of nearly 300,000 kilometers a second. One of these particles that was discovered at CERN is known as the Higgs boson. It's a fundamental particle that exists within the Higgs field that came into reality with the Big Bang, and it's the reason certain fundamental particles have mass at all. And it is the power pumped into the LHC that allowed us to unlock this hidden aspect of the universe that the theory of what happened to our reality really begins. As their new machine was being built, skeptics from around the globe came together to try and stop them, claiming that the scientists were working with forces too far out of their control. They were worried that concentrating that much power, in addition to the energies generated when the two particles smashed together at those speeds, could bring about unknown consequences. There were theories that black holes could be created in the collisions, or the sheer amount of energy would cause some disturbance within the fabric of space-time, causing irreparable damage. But inevitably, the LHC was turned on for the first time in 2008 and made its very first collision in 2010. Just two years later, the fabled Higgs boson would be discovered after the LHC successfully smashed protons together. But was that a good thing? Could the confirmation of the Higgs discovery have opened the doors to other possibilities or other realities? Not all scientists were excited with the news of the newly discovered boson, one of them being Stephen Hawking, who said that the confirmation of the Higgs boson made physics less interesting. 
But that's not all. He also wrote about another interesting theory given in his lectures, now known as Starmus, that may explain these bizarre theories. In these lectures, he talks about something called the Higgs boson doomsday, an event that could lead to the destruction of our universe. But no one really knows if the universe would end in the instance of a Higgs boson doomsday. Could this be the trigger that sent our reality on a crash course with another? Once discovered, researchers measured the Higgs boson to be right around 126 billion electron volts, or 126 times the size of a proton, and it turns out this mass is extremely significant. It happens to be the mass needed to keep our universe at the very brink of instability. Because many of the fundamental particles that make up everything get their mass from interactions with the Higgs field, if the particles suddenly happen to weigh a little more or less, it could have disastrous consequences for our universe. Theorists believe that since the Higgs field was birthed during the Big Bang, it has acted as its own energy source, constantly in a state of trying to balance its strength and the energy it required to keep it. Much like matter can exist in different states, the scientists believe the Higgs field could exist in many different states, and all that would be required to change its state is enough energy to get it over an energy hump. If this happens, a bubble in the Higgs field would be created in a higher energy state than the remainder of the universe. This bubble would expand at the speed of light, shifting the Higgs field as it grows until it engulfs the entire universe. According to Hawking, if the energy of the Higgs field increases past 100 billion giga electron volts, it would cause the universe to undergo catastrophic vacuum decay, increasing the strength of the Higgs field inside the bubble. While some theorists believe that in this case, everything in the universe would cease to exist, some people are asking, where would it go? As the theories of the multiverse have shown, every universe could have slightly different physics, with fundamental particles having variations different from the ones in our universe. There could be alternate universes out there that are nearly identical to ours. Could something like this cause our reality to merge with another? And within the 11 dimensions of string theory, there exists a higher dimension that contains all of the possible universes, each within its own membrane. In this sea of bubble universes, two of them merging together is still within the realm of possibilities. Could this be a hint to why our universe seems to have gotten off the track it was on? Was the trigger for all of this something that humanity did? Could the largest machine in human history be responsible for breaking our universe?